Hello and welcome to this special presentation of this range-topping Volkswagen Touareg Black Edition that's joining us here today on this stunning and beautiful sunny afternoon. This being a range-topping Touareg will have absolutely everything your heart may desire and this exact model is finished in the optionally upgraded deep black pearlescent paintwork which I think you'll agree with me goes absolutely beautifully with the blacked out edition accents that are available on this model. Some of the key equipment highlights will include redesigned front and rear bodywork, which includes full IQ Light Matrix LED adaptive headlights with prominent R-Line badging attached to this blacked out front grille. Instead of being chrome, you've got plenty of blacked out accents, but the Matrix lights look absolutely stunning, give you crisp visibility when traveling in the evening. Other key highlights on this model will include the full set of 21-inch Suzuka alloys that have been blacked out as well. And this vehicle also comes with air suspension as well as a DCC dynamic chassis control, allowing you to fully set the suspension setting you would want. To complement that look, you've also got a full panoramic sunroof, which on a beautiful sunny day like today will lend in plenty of natural light. It has a tilt as well as a sliding opening function. Other features will include print, uh, privacy tinted windows from the B-pillar back, as well as keyless entry and keyless start and blacked out gloss roof rails. Moving to the rear, an extended blacked out rear spoiler again complements the paintwork of this vehicle. And the rear taillights are also full LED and feature a dynamic sweeping indicators and they even change shape when you apply the brakes. Lower redesigned sports diffuser with twin exhaust pipes further complement the look and the chrome prominent Touareg badging is in the center for that nice look. For convenience, you have a benefit of a power opening and closing boot and the boot space is absolutely cavernous, easily able to swallow six, I might even push and say seven suitcases if you needed it. But additionally, you can fold the seats down in a 40, 20, 40 configuration for any additional storage. When you want to fold the seats down, there's no need to climb in the back. Just easily pull on these uh, levers here. And you've got little shopping hooks on either side as well. And it's a nicely illuminated cabin as well. Underneath there, you also have got a benefit of a space saver spare wheel that can be inflated. But overall, it's a really nice system and it's dead easy to close the boot. Just press on that button. As you'd expect from a range topping Touareg, the cabin's beautifully finished with a lot of chrome, brushed chrome and piano black inset, as well as a nice ambient light pack. But the full upholstery has been finished off in Volkswagen stunning Vienna leather upholstery that has been especially tailored for this R-Line model with this unique design and white piping and stitching. There's comfortable seating for three with plenty of legroom thanks to the overall dimensions of this car. But the center seat also acts as a center armrest which features built-in cup holders. Additionally, there's two Isofix child anchor points available on either side, so it's extremely easy to get the child strapped in as well. And rear passengers won't be complaining, believe me, as they benefit from their own two-zone climate control system in the rear with air vents. And even down here, there's a little cubbyhole which features two integrated USB Type-C chargers, so any devices, any connectivity will keep everyone happy on a longer or a shorter journey. Things in the front get even better thanks to the redesigned sportier cabin that is enhanced by these protective R-Line sports kick plates, upgraded aluminium sports pedals, and of course we can't miss the flat bottom R-Racing steering wheel which features perforated leather handles on the side. The overall cabin is beautifully crafted featuring plenty of soft touch materials and this stitched dash on the top just gives it a nice uh, air of quality. Of course, the digital instrument clusters and that massive 15 inch Innovision screen looks absolutely stunning, but we'll come on to that shortly. The front seats have been further enhanced to offer additional side support, which is great, especially if you're planning on throwing this car around into a bend. But they even feature little accents such as Volkswagen's R Racing logo embossed near the headrest. The driver and the passenger will both benefit from electrically adjustable seats, which feature an Ergo Comfort. Uh, electric lumbar support so you can get your seats just right and if there are going to be multiple users of this car you'll be happy to know that the driver's seat comes with a memory pack for up to three settings. Once inside the cabin it really is a very nice place to be in. Everything's beautifully designed, solidly put together as you'd expect from Volkswagen and that screen in the center looks absolutely beautiful as well. This leather perforated steering wheel is three spoke and it's really nice to hold, it's quite chunky, gives you a nice commanding feel of the road. And of course, the large 12 inch digital instrument class directly ahead of you is controlled via this touch sensitive steering wheel. 
A number of information can be displayed on the move, such as your temperature, your road sign, speed. But this car also comes with a dynamic road sign recognition camera, which will identify speed limits as you drive along. Additionally, the vehicle will benefit from a number of active safety systems, such as adaptive cruise control with an active speed limiter, as well as there's even benefit of a lane assist lane keeping system and front assist city emergency braking system, which will take over and apply the brakes in case of an impending collision. Additionally, the vehicle will also benefit for satellite navigation mapping, which can be displayed directly ahead of you, which is a great safety feature as you won't need to take your eyes off the road and it gives you a nice widescreen view. Also, all the usual refinements you can expect from Volkswagen, such as DAB radio and all your music can be controlled by your fingertips, as well as answer and reject any incoming phone calls. Also, the steering wheel comes with a heated option with a three-stage setting, which is a nice addition, especially for those cold mornings. As this is a sports model and it benefits from an 8-speed Tiptronic gearbox, it also comes with paddle shifts behind the wheel for a more engaging and dynamic drive, should you wish to change the gearing itself. Coming into the centre, of course, we're greeted straight away by this large 15-inch Innovision cockpit. It has a very tablet-like feel to it, and you can display a number of information. You can use this round dial here at the bottom to display your key information, such as the sat-nav, your phone, contacts, and obviously any music you might be playing. But it also has another setting, giving you a bit more in-depth information about the car itself, such as vehicle status, usage patterns, or anything else you may wish to know about the car. If you find this layout slightly confusing, don't panic. You can use the top setting, which gives you a bit more of a conventional layout. In terms of your music, as I mentioned earlier, there's full FM and DAB digital radio reception, as well as additional media streaming services available for any add-ons you may wish to use, such as those included on the screen. Also, the vehicle benefits from Volkswagen's app connectivity, which gives you access to both Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, so you can hook up your smartphone and make use of things such as Google Maps, iMaps, Waze for mapping, or if you're more into your music or contacts, you'll be happy to know you can WhatsApp your family and friends when on the move. Additionally, the satellite navigation can be displayed simultaneously on this large screen, giving you even more of a visibility. And it comes with a number of points of interest, fuel stations, etc. Obviously speed limits, but it also comes with full seven-digit mapping and live traffic updates with alternative mapping that can be suggested. If you prefer to change your view, you can also set it to a 2D mode. And it also comes with a daytime and a nighttime setting as well. Other features will also include CarNet, which uh, if you are subscribed to the system, will give you internet connectivity from your phone and give you next level connection for any kind of live updates, uh, fuel prices, parking uh, spaces, locations and prices. So you can definitely make use of those systems as well. Additionally, the vehicle will also benefit from a two-zone climate control system in the front. Extremely easy to use. You can either operate via the screen to adjust the temperature here. As such, obviously, you can still control your heated steering wheel. Or if you prefer, you can just use these quick touch-sensitive buttons here. Or you can just drag your finger, which makes it incredibly easy and quick to choose the temperature you may wish to use. Also, heated front seats will complement the heated steering wheel in the front, which again is a nice add-on as well. And other features will include this driver mode selection profile, allowing you to optimize the feel of the car. Thanks to the DCC dynamic chassis control, an extra level is included called comfort, which will prioritize your comfort, especially gliding over speed humps. Of course, economy will prioritize fuel efficiency and maximum efficiency. Normal mode will give you best of both worlds between efficiency, economy and speed. And sport mode, as the name suggests, will include a more dynamic drive. You can choose your own individual driving mode setting, but if you're planning to venturing off the road, the car comes with a full motion four-wheel drive system, which will allow you to choose between preset settings for snow or two settings for uh, off-roading, whether auto or expert, for maximum grip and off-road capability. Also, the vehicle comes with an advanced parking system, thanks to the area view 360-degree parking camera system, which features dynamic guidelines, as well as a top-down view. Additionally, you can change the camera angle to show you more information, such as um, top-down view to when you're reversing to try and uh, hitch a toe. Or if you're pulling out of a narrow parking space, it will give you a slightly wider angle camera, or you can have a 3D view of the car. On top of the parking sensors that will beep at you as well, you also have a self-parking park assist system, which is capable of guiding the car automatically into a parallel or perpendicular space, with, and the only thing you will need to do is operate the pedals. As we move down the cabin, we have this large gloss black center console here. It features lots of cubby holes. The vehicle also benefit from a wireless phone charger as well. As I mentioned earlier, keyless entry, keyless start is available as well. But this leather-wrapped 8-speed Tiptronic gear lever is an absolute joy to use. 
One of the other clever features is this rotary dial here on the left, which controls the air suspension, whereby you can raise or lower the vehicle, depending on the setting you prefer. If you like the look of this Volkswagen Twark Black Edition in deep black pearl and would like to find out more information about it, why not pick up the phone now and contact one of our sales teams on 01270 50 70 50 or alternatively follow the link in the description below. From myself, many thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it and as always, why not consider subscribing to our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the videos we publish. Thanks again, enjoy your Thursday and enjoy the rest of the afternoon.